how you can add a feature and product slider to your Shopify store. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can add a feature and product slider to your Shopify store. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So over here, as you can see, this is it. As you can see over here, this is a product slider that I have added within my Shopify store, and it's very easy to do so. So let me just show you how you can add it to your store. So let's go back to our Shopify store and I'll show you how you can add it. All right. So once you're over here onto your store, this is how it looks like, right? Pretty simple. Now, what we're going to do over here is we're going to see and go ahead and add some products because we need to add some products in order to make it look good, right? If we don't have any products, it's just going to be a blank screen and nothing on it. So let's go ahead and add some products. I've already added a few products, as you can see over here, and it's very simple to add. So let me show you how you can add it. So there are a couple of ways you can either add a product manually by clicking on add product button and adding all of the details manually. And there's another way if you are trying to drop ship, then go ahead and click on the apps button and then you will have a Deezer's uh, AliExpress dropshipping application, which can help you import different products from directly from AliExpress into your Shopify store. So we just simply click on this uh, application and we are good to go. So over here, as you can see, this is how it looks like. Now over here onto the left side, I already have some products imported over here and it's very easy to import different products, right? So just simply come over here to find products, right? And or you can go over to AliExpress him itself over here. And once you're over here onto AliExpress, you can go ahead and find different products for yourself, right? It's pretty easy. So for example, let's say take this dress, for example, let's say we want to import this dress. All we got to do is copy the link of this product, come over here and click on the import list. And we just paste the link of that product within this link within this uh, bar and click on OK and the product will be automatically imported into our import list. We can do with a bunch of different other products as well. Like, for example, over here, let's take um, let's take this product, for example, copy the link again, come over here, paste the link over here and click on OK. Products will be imported. Next, all we need to do is just simply select these products and click on publish to store. And then once they are published to the store, we are good to go so this is how i basically added products within my store they're going to take a couple of seconds and boom here we go they are now successfully imported now what we're going to do is we're going to click over here and reload the page and see all of the products that we have just recently imported so as you can see uh, now the list has grown bigger and this is the product that we imported and this is the product that we just imported so we're good to go now what we're going to do now next is we need to add a piece of code and it's pretty simple all right, so this is the piece of code that I have typed and it's very simple. You just got to copy it and don't worry. This will be provided in the description down below. So you don't have to go ahead and find it for yourself. But even if you did try to find it, you can easily find it online. It's very easy, but I will be providing a link in the description so you can go ahead and copy it from there. So once you've copied it, I will also have this small little uh, tutorial how you can do that. So now we just got to go to themes, go into actions, edit the code. And in the sections, we got to paste, we got to create a product slider section and paste the code within it. Really simple. So now let's go into your online store, go into the action button and click on edit code right on the theme. Click on edit action and click on edit code. It's going to open up over here close these boxes and you will see you have the section folder right here click on section and create a new section now type in product product dash slider all right don't type space or anything like that always put a dash instead of space it's just much more better it's gonna work in in terms of code there is no space it's just dashes and dots so dash it and then just simply click on create a section now once the section has been created what you got to do is just remove all of this code right the previous code has been deleted copy this code right here all right once and all the way to the down copy it and come over here and paste the code as you can see right here the code has been pasted now what we'll do is we'll just simply click on save and pretty much that is it now that that option has been added to our store, now we can go ahead and customize it. We'll click on customize to actually customize the store. And over here, we can see uh, we have a bunch of different options. 
So over here, as you can see, we don't have any uh, product slider, right? So once we come over here, we can see we don't have the option or any other product slider, right? Um, but don't worry, we can go ahead and add that. So let me just, you know, clean this up a little bit. There we go, right? So this is how it looks like, no section. So we just simply click on add section and we will have the product slider over here. Just simply click on it and add it over here. Now I'm going to put it at the top. Well, not top, top, just underneath, uh, you know, talk about your brand. And once it added, you can see you can add product cards within this slider. So simply click on add product card, right? As many products you want to showcase over here. And you can also rename it as well. So it's product slider. Instead of slide product slider, you can go with uh, featured products over here as you can see and then you can add whichever product you want so simply click on the product card onto the left hand side and then come over here on the right side click on select product and select the products that you want to add so let's say i want to add this product or you can create a product over here manually as well but let's say we want to add this product and just, just simply click on select again click on the second card select the product that you want you want an autumn jacket we'll click on select Again, select the product in the card. We'll select this uh, Poe Fox jacket and then select our last product that you want. And we'll go with uh, this jacket right here and click on select. So pretty simple. That's it. That's how you do it. And then you can go ahead and see that it's actually working. So this is how the product looks like. You can also change the number of cards you want to view within the slider from two to three to four. Yeah. And then you can even change the pagination color as well. So as you can see, currently it's transparent. This is the pagination uh, color. You can go with white or red, black. It all depends on you. I think white looks good. Yeah. And then you should be good to go. Then just simply click on save. And now if we try to view our website, scroll down, you will see the product slider over here. And this is how it looks like. As you can see, it looks really nice. looks really cool and pretty simple. That's it. Nothing too crazy. Just simply... Uh, click the link in the description below it'll open up this document it'll also have these uh, four steps that you can use to edit the code then just simply go to the action and within the theme and then edit the code and then in the section you create a product dash slider and then you paste this code that you find over here and then you are good to go then just simply add in the products like this however many you want and you are good to go so pretty simple that's it that's how you add a product slider within your shopify store so that then just simply save it so that it's saved and you are good to go so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye